Hi guys, Andy here from Home Glow. So today I'm going to be talking about chemicals that you can put in your eating system and today's one I'm going to be talking about is inhibitor. First I'm going to make this in a brew because I'm gasping. I don't like a nice cup of tea, me. I could drink a beer more like, but a cup of tea will do. Let's let that start mashing. So what we'll be talking about today is something called inhibitor. Um, so it's something I'm going to show you how to put into your heating system. Inhibitor uh, can be used on a combination boiler or um, a tank fed system. So if you've got tanks in loft, um, very. So if you have got tanks in loft and you've got a tank tank fed system, uh, so that you've got stored up water, it, it, you want this version of it. Just something you can tip into the header tank inside the loft. Very easy to put inside a on, onto a, a tank fed system. But today I've got a combination boiler in my house so I'm going to be doing the tutorial on putting it into a towel rail because I think that's the easiest place if you have got a towel rail and how to dose up an eating system with an inhibitor. If you haven't got a towel rail then the other option is you have to put it into a radiator which again I'll do another video on explaining how to do that but uh, it won't be as easy to get in the eating system so when I do put it in through a radiator I use an aerosol based uh, inhibitor uh, that comes in a can. I get this from Wolseley Centre. So it is a bit more expensive for the aerosol based uh, inhibitor, but uh, when you put it into a radiator, it's a lot easier to put in. No messing about really, but I'll do it. So today's is not the aerosol, today is a how to use it just in a normal tub on inhibitor. This is um, Addy's um, MC1. Um, inhibitor, I like their, their products, so this is what I'm going to be using today. This probably treats at 125 litres, it probably treats up to about 15 single panel radiators. Let's move on to the next stage. I'm going to have my cup of tea and then we'll I'll show you how to get it into a towel rail. So on top of your towel rail you should have a bleed vent and a blank. So we are going to be taking these uh, uh, both of the vents out um, so, and the reason is for that if we only took one out and tried to put the chemical in one it's still full of water so I'm going to try how to drain the, uh, the water out of it um, but the other thing is if you don't take the other side out as well when you try and um, put the inhibitor in just through this one um, section here there's, when, when you're tipping it in there's nowhere for the air to be pushed out to allow the water in yeah, no the inhibitor in if that makes sense so all you'll just get is a load of glugging and the inhibitor just spilling, spilling all out over the top and it's obviously you've just wasted your money on a, a tub or inhibitor. So take, we need to take both of those blanks out. So as you can see, this particular towel rail has got the decorative valves on it. So if I were to take out those caps, we need to isolate it. So again, I've done a tutorial now to isolate a radiator, which is exactly the same principle for a towel rail. So first of all, take these caps off. Well, first of all, see whether it will close. Just keep turning to it right. You can turn it off. I had to get these caps off. It has like a little spinny collar at the front. Take that off. And it'll expose a little threaded screw. So it attaches to that, take that one off, and then you can see the valve underneath. So you can use these the opposite way around as well. So if you put that on, on the front, that side's off, and we need to do this side. So I'll just turn it to it right. Just make sure it's isolated by opening that and the water stops, so that's how we know now that the tower rail is fully isolated. So now we've took out both the caps of the towel rail so we can inject 
well, pour in the inhibitor. But first of all, we've got to get rid of the excess water that's still inside the towel rail. So we've got to get rid of that before we can tip in the inhibitor. So how I generally do that is just a tube. What we're going to thread down there and siphon off some central heating water. So a bit of a tip that I've got, just some clear tube that's empty. So obviously you don't need to be sucking out this water and going in your mouth because uh, it's not going to be good for you. So fill the tube up with hot water, sorry, not with hot water, just with water. Thumb the water once you've filled it up. Start putting in that end into the tower. You're going to get some water that starts coming out, obviously. But then when you let your thumb go, it hopefully it should siphon the water out into a bucket. So here we are, I'm going to start to show you how to drain this out, so I've filled this tube up now with water, that's the only thing I've done, and I've got my uh, favourite cameraman helping me out today, my son, so here we are, so first of all, I'm going to put one end of this tube into the uh, top of the towel rail, obviously I've got my thumbs on the end because it's full of water, so put one in and install your thumb on the end. Like I said, you will get some dregs coming down. And then just bit, literally take this to the somewhere to drain it into. Hopefully when I take my thumb off, uh, that should start siphoning out. There you go. That's uh, took quite a lot of uh, water from the radiator. So now we'll take the tube back out. But now we've drained that towel rail from water, we've siphoned it out without actually needing uh, to suck it out. Just fill the tube up with uh, water, just saves any of that dirty water going in your mouth. So that's how I generally do it. So this is why it's so easy. So what we'll get now is, what I'm going to use is a funnel. Put that in the top. Inhibitor. Let's come with a sealed uh, top. Right that, there we go, and now I'm going to be tipping this in the funnel. So now this is where we took off the other end, because already I can hear gurgling this side, air coming out. And that's just taking a full tub of Addy's protector, which is... I don't even know how much it is, I've never checked that before. Oh, 500 mil, 500 mils worth. And that's how easy it is to put inhibitor into your eating system if you've got a towel rail. So all you need to do now is remember to put the caps back on your towel rail and then turn your radiator back on, bleed the towel rail. So if you've got a combi like me, you probably will need to put pressure back in the boiler. So that's it guys, another video from Home Glow. I hope you enjoyed it, um, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe, give us a like, and that's it now, I'm going to go and finish my brew, so see you later guys, see you later Joshua, bye. Thank you very much. Was that good? Yeah.